Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another journal with me video in my Midori A6 one day one page diary and it's currently still housed in my Christina letter notebook cover so before I start I'll be showing you guys a quick flip through for my last journal with me because from that sort of from that time that day onwards I am on a full stamp, stamping mode because I would want to reduce the size of the, all the bulkiness of my diary so here as you can see lots of stamping going on um, and I think it's a good thing too because I have like lots of stamp and I'm able to take out my stamp and really utilize them some of them are actually very new and I haven't even used them at all so this gives me a chance to really use started start really starting to use all my stamp and it also helps me to sort of trying out different colors of my impact sometimes I have a hard time to decide what color to use because I'm not really good at color combination yeah so here it made me it made me sort of think or be creative with my ink pads I guess and some background I did use watercolor because I like the effect of watercolors and this one I have a little bit of collage there because there was a little oopsie there I need to cover up yep but with stamping I think um, the only thing mm, I wouldn't say the only disadvantage but the only thing that maybe some people might have to consider is shadowing yep of course it's natural for shadowing to happen if you lose if you use lots of stamp but I do not mind that that much here you can see me that I have a lot of hand gesture going on because at first I do not want to voice over for this part but then I changed my mind now so yeah a lot of hand gesture going on as I was talking while I did the flip through but then I decided well I wanted to do a voiceover and here I'm going to set up my spread for the 9th and the 10th now this was like I think two weeks ago and I'm very sorry it's so late because I have something going uh, some error in my voiceover I actually did the voiceover last week and there's something wrong with it and now I have to redo it again so yeah that's why it's a bit late for me to put up this spread but then again I wanted to share my the setup of my spread and not the date of when my journal is so here I'm just putting down the date for the for this spread which is the 9th as well as the next spread which is the 10th using my shiny date stamp and the ink pad is from Sachihata and this is a very gorgeous blue color and here I'm going to stamp down the day with this new week stamp, weekly stamp that I recently got and halfway through I need to pause or I need to stop for a bit because I noticed there's some manufacturing problem or manufacturing um, defect to the stamp and I have to uh, sort of take a photo of it and send it to the seller and unfortunately they do not order this stamp anymore they won't be carrying this stamp anymore so they can't exchange it for me but they refunded me there and then so this is a regular seller that I always buy my stamps from it is called Washilicious and yeah, I will link everything down below so they, their service are awesome and then next up I wanted to put down this grid stamp as my background I've used this grid stamp before but not often so today I thought I wanted to use it uh, on this spread as my background at first I wanted to put it sort of like vertically but then I changed my mind I put it horizontally instead since it's just from part of the background so doesn't matter which way I put it <laughs> and next up this is another stamp that I bought like ages ago but didn't manage to use uh, much of it 
I did use it before, but not much. So it's a bear stand. It's from Taiwan and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to use it together in this bread as well. And to me, bear is supposed to be brown color. So I use my Sachiata brown color ink pad. Next up, I wanted to put a floral stand beside the bear stand. Yeah, I'm just looking at how bad the shadowing was, but it was not bad at all, so it's good. And at first, I wanted to put a small little bear, but then I decided I wanted to use this floral stamp instead. And this floral stamp is from Raw Market. Yeah, stamps are gorgeous. Recently, I saw that they are launching this new new uh, new stamp set, and I think it's called Sky Is the Limit. Is more of those films, Polaroids, frame stamp. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really, really holding back from buying it because I have really, way too much stamp, and uh, I already have a problem in storage. I previously mentioned about my molding problem. Yep, but anyway, back to my journal with me. So I wanted to put that small little bear on top left hand corner instead and next up I wanted to put a little bit of a background beside the little bear and it's this um, English phrase uh, pattern stamp you actually can't really see what they wrote but it's just you know a pattern and it, it forms a very pretty background and next up I wanted to put down this uh, at first, I want to put down this uh, community garden stamp that I got from a BSD uh, Facebook shop, and um, then I changed my mind. I want to put down this note to sell stamp instead. Since I don't have a black ink, uh, such a black ink, so I use my stays on instead. And stays on is actually not bad. It, not only that it's permanent on most surfaces, but it doesn't actually bleed through or shadow that much, which is quite surprising to me because I felt that you know it's, the ink is quite permanent. It normally will shadow at the very least, but it doesn't. So I really really love stays on. And here I'm going to be putting out this Chinese character stamp. Which I think uh, it meant that the wording meant that when you put your memory in writing and you know happy memories and um, yeah things like that and your happiness will become uh, feasible or I would say you'll be able to visualize your happiness better. <laughs> Sorry for the bad interpretation, but it, in gist, it, it, it meant something like that. But it, it sounded very nice in Mandarin. <laughs> Just, I'm very sorry, I am very bad at, trans at translating. Yep. And here I'm putting down another floral stand. And this stand, I'll be writing down my journal. The pen I use is this Sarasa clip pen. Apart from Pilot, this is the uh, my another favorite of mine. Sorry, apart from Pilot, Sarasa is the gel pen that I will go to next. Sorry, I'm a bit uh, sort of out of focus here because I'm actually on uh, my medical leave today. I'm not feeling very well, so I thought. While resting, I might as well redo my voiceover. So very sorry if a bit I'm a bit incoherent here. Sometimes words just don't come to my mind. Okay, here I'm putting out this floral rub-on sticker from MU Lifestyle. Is it MU Lifestyle or just MU Life? I think it's called MU Life. Yep. It's a very famous rub-on sticker and it's 
it's the thing that's uh, one of the favorites now, I think, for journaling, for people who do journal. Do, do we call ourselves journalists? I think journalists is like a reporter, right? But people who journal, um, I don't think you call journalists. But what do you call people who journal? I'm not too sure. Plan People who plan, you, you, you call it planner, right? But people who journal, do you call it journaler? <laughs> I don't think there's such word and actually there's no such word as journaling I just noticed because when I and sometimes when I type the word journaling in I don't know my computer it has this error misspelling misspelled error pop up so I thought what is going on and then I only noticed that there's no such word as journaling it's to journal yep we don't call it journaling anyway just something out of topic here because I just noticed that recently and back to my journal my, my setup here I'm using this very cute gorgeous girl stand which also I've bought it like ages ago and rarely use them but recently I've been digging out my stand <laughs> try to reorganize them and I wanted to and I saw this very cute I mean I just noticed that I have a few of these cute girl stem from gorgeous and I wanted to use in this spread and I also want to stem down this friend uh, stem wording stem from I think it's from Mika it's a Taiwan brand And somehow it goes very well with that little girl stem. Not sure why. And I really, really wanted to use my uh, MU Rub On sticker, so I wanted to use this one as the background, sort of like a background to my friend stem, uh, wording, wording stem, sorry. So when you want to put down the rub on sticker on a stamp, it actually you actually have to rub it more compared to when you just put it on a regular page because I think the ink sort of uh, have some resistance for the rub on sticker to stick on. Yeah. But after it's down it there's no problem at all, just that at the start you really have to rub it on well. Here I'm trying to find some floral, floral rub-on sticker to put on my spread. So I decided to use that, what is it called? Color swatch, is it? Color swatch pattern on my day, which is a uh, Wednesday. Because of this uh, print on sticker, the gorgeous school seems a little bit bare now, so I'll be going in with some watercolor later on. First, I want to put down that floral sticker there. So, the rub on sticker is actually very colorful, so if I don't color in the girl, it, it looks a bit weird. Yeah. Hope you guys didn't hear the dog howling in the back. <laughs> but if you did, well, there's some wild dogs around here, or I think my neighbor dogs, my neighbor's dog. Yeah, it was howling just now. Uh, anyway, I've colored in the girl, and I love how it turns out with the pink and the light pink and the bow and everything. Yeah, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And here I'm putting now another stem which has the wording a little note and a bird sort of like singing with the note there 
I think it's very cute. I love this stamp a lot because it's, it says a letter note and note in another meaning is like it's like music note. So it has the bird like sing there. And here another oopsie from me. I'm not sure why. Lately I tend to stamp my wording stamp upside down. There you can see it's upside down. Oh my gosh. So but it's not the end of the world. I just take a label, a label or a label sticker just cover it up I'm not sure why I tend to stamp the wording stamp upside down very weird anywho I found a suitable size and I'm gonna stamp my wording on that label before I glue it down to ensure that even though it's upside down I can just turn it upside down And the size is just perfect. You can see it fits perfectly inside the box. And the word on the stem is there is always light behind the clouds. After that, I am putting down more of my rub-on sticker. I actually want to I wanted to use them up because I've been hoarding them for quite some time now. Yep. There's no point for me to buy them if I don't use them. So that's my motto for now. So I have to use up my supplies. And recently I bought more stamps. Can you believe it? That is the what you call it? I would say culprit of Taobao because in Taobao you can actually combine ship shipment you can buy from various suppliers in Taobao and they will send to this general warehouse and they will pack it up for you in one bundle and they will ship it to you and it's very very cheap even the shipping is very affordable because I always choose by sea you can choose by sea by air or you can even discuss with supplier how you want to ship it they can send it to you directly or if you want to send it like in bundle together with all your orders then you can choose either by ship or by sea or by air so I normally choose by sea which is way cheap and that is how I end up with so much stamp so anyway this is the two of my spread that I did today and thank you guys for watching take care bye